saying to me, how many of y'all actually heard of Parker Escobar? Hey, no means. The first time he got arrested, I called the famous Jimmy Dean shot. It's, you know, he's smiling, uh, he's, you know, well combed, he looks good, but it, it was an air of, I am in charge, I am powerful, I'm, uh, no one can, uh, can knock me down. Later on, him and his cousin got organized in doing small, small loads. I'm talking about five kilos of cocaine, 10 kilos of cocaine. At age 26, Escobar was arrested for possession of 39 pounds of cocaine, his first and only drug bust. For another man, it might have been the end, but not for Pablo Escobar. The arresting officer was mysteriously murdered, and nine judges refused to hear the case after receiving death threats. The official records disappeared, and Escobar was never tried. So he put it out on him, 
had him killed, and once he had him killed, that pretty much raised uh, all police awareness on Pablo to be taken down, and it raised a bounty on him. So once they raised a bounty on a bounty on Pablo, Pablo put a hit out on every policeman in Colombia, and he, he he wrote it on a he wrote it on a treaty and signed put it put his thumbprint on it. He also blew up a commercial airplane, killing all 107 passengers just because he believed that a potential witness was on board. So he had, um, he was pretty reckless. He was killed for no reason. Just, he had the slightest punch on you trying to take him down and you pretty much had to be. Um, he spent his last year in like Caledron, which, which was a house he, he, he feared going to US jail, so, he did everything in his power to prevent himself from going to the U.S. penitentiary. So he kind of, well not kind of, he had this, this home built in Colombia, which it was supposed to be his, I guess his, his prison, his prison where he, where he was supposed to, to do his time or whatever for being sentenced. But it was, it was custom built by his people. So it had like stash houses and safe houses and just a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff that pretty much you wouldn't find him in any prison, basically. And him living there, he was still able to still he was still able to to sell drugs and push push drugs out of that house. And prior to his death, he became very vulnerable. He started changing his appearance. He felt alone because everybody around him was it's like either dying. Like they started killing the the government started killing like all his associates, and and he just was really in fear of his family. He just wanted his family to be. Say that's all he really cared about at the end of the day. Um, on December 2nd, um, 1993, that's when Pablo was in a, in a hotel. He was on the phone with his son. That's how they were able to track him because he became so vulnerable. He just started, every time he would just, he would call, he would just make random phone calls and that's how they were able to track him. So December 2nd, he was in a hotel looking out the window on the phone with, with his son actually when they, when they, before they busted in the door. He didn't think that they were there for them. He just thought they were just there just to be there for somebody else. So when they busted in the door, um, he ran out the window, jumped out the window, and tried to run away. But he, like I said, he was just so he was just so out of it. Like he was shooting back out the window that they jumped out of, at back out the window that he jumped out of. When the people that were actually shooting him were shooting him from like the side. I don't, I don't know how. To, I don't really know how to explain it. Like he was, he jumped out the window, shooting back thinking that they were following him, but nobody was following him. Everybody was already outside the building waiting for him to jump out the window. So he was pretty much, once he jumped out, he was pretty much just a dead man because he jumped into the crosswalk. That's his dead body. He died the day after his 40th birthday. Um, Pablo gained power by brute force. He retained his power by brute force, and in the end, was brutally murdered. I hope that through my presentation, You've all learned a little bit about Pablo. And even though he gained his power through murder and drugs, he never really forgot where he came from. He used as much fortunes as a child, as a building block, to become one of the most feared and respected drug lords that the world has ever seen. And I have one more. Are you sure? I mean, yes or no? I would like to show it. All right. <laughs> Pray for the peace of his soul. 